Hey everyone, Fake Honda here. Today we are making. Today I wanted to make a review of a book that I had been meaning to do a review of for a while. I just didn't get to it. Um, I'm actually super camera shy, so that's why. <laughs> anyway, um, Cyber Frog Blood Honey, one of the capstone books in the. Uh, modern comic era, I would say. When I compare this to other somewhat modern books from the mid-2010s that I have, just laying around still for some reason, it just doesn't compare. But anyway, let's let's get right into it. This is one of... Oh, how many variant covers now? Uh, this is one of several variant covers. This was from the line art variation. This is the Salamandroid cover. And I have to say, initially I was disappointed I missed out on the Chromium covers because I, I was kind of on the fence about getting a comic from Indiegogo because I was like, ah, I don't really know about this. But, I mean, after looking at some art, I was like, man, it's gorgeous art. I, I gotta have it. So, I bought it. It was like $25 with shipping. However, uh, a little expensive, but this is really the size of about three comic books. And after, like, reading it, I don't feel like... Like, some comic books that I've bought from the comic book store back in the day, you know, I would, like, read them, not understand anything what was going on, and just uh, feel like, well, I just threw away $5. After reading this, I feel like I've definitely gotten my money's worth for, for what I paid for it. So let's get right into it. Um, if you don't have this book, uh, it is available on eBay. Just look up Cyberfrog Blood Honey. Uh, hopefully there still should be some. They probably won't be on eBay for too long because the sequel to this book is coming out this year. It's funding right now. It's called uh, Cyberfrog Wrecked Planet. Go back it. Uh, it's definitely worth it. This book right now, you can't even find... This specific uh, cover, you can't find on eBay right now at all. Uh, the only line art I found was like for like 50 bucks. So these do for right now, uh, hold their value very, very well. Um, anyway, um, let's get into the book. There's, uh, there's Ethan's signature right there. He's, he signs all these books. <sighs> Smells like Ethan. <laughs> all right. So I'm right off the bat. I did notice what people were, were saying about the fluting. Fluting is where, as you can, you can kind of tell, but there's these lines, subtle lines when there's a lot of ink on the paper. I think I think he's got a hold of, uh, I think he's got a handle on the problem this time around, so I'm not worried about this coming in the sequel. But the main reason why I really wanted this book is, one, because um, I grew up reading, like, Bionicle that would come with the Lego magazine, and this is very much uh, this, a similar style. Um... But the primary reason that I went with this one is just the sheer amount of detail. Oh, I probably shouldn't reveal the book. Sorry about that. Um, just the sheer amount of detail that goes into each of the each of the pictures here, like all the little tick marks and hash marks and everything. That's all there, and it's all it's all intentional. It's all intentional. Um, that aside, the. Uh, the main, one of the biggest reasons I was disappointed that I couldn't get the Chromium cover, other than the fact that it's worth a ton right now, <laughs> is the colors. I'll actually, I, there's there's a picture in the back of what it would look like. Um, it, uh, Ethan Van Skyver was gracious to include all the uh, cover arts in the back, so that's that's what the colored version looks like, and it's just super dynamic. Just all the shapes, all the all the. Uh, all the little details and you know the composition itself is actually like pretty awesome too like you have this in the i think it's called the golden it's based on the rule of thirds um yeah anyway the composition is great because your, your eye starts right here and it kind of just follows the tail and just goes down the arm like that whenever there's a picture that can successfully guide your eye through the entirety of it. In my book, that's that's definitely a good composition. Um, I did digital painting briefly uh, in college, and that's what they always taught us. They're like, look, you have your foreground, your middle ground, your background. The point of those 
is to help guide, you know, you want to place those in such a way that it helps to guide your eye through the entire piece. You don't want to be like, okay, well, here's the piece right here. And then, oh, here's all this other stuff. The composition of this cover is really fantastic. All of these covers, all of them. Um, really, really well polished, really well done comic book. Like even this one, look, your eye starts here, goes down to here, and then here. One, two, three. It's not too busy. In art, like three is the magic number, you know? One, two, and then three. Kind of like this shape. The cover, uh, the cover is really nice. It's it's thick. It's like a, it's a little bit thicker cardstock. It's not like a, uh, it's not like some of the, some of the comics you get in the in the, just some of the regular comics you get. This it feels it feels premium. It feels very premium. Um, I already backed uh, Rex Planet. I was lucky and I got the Ides of March cover, which is coming in Chromium. So I'm very interested to see. How the chromium looks but uh this book is definitely worth picking up in my opinion it's a little pricey um i think you you would have a hard time finding it for um probably under 30 dollars. i know i know the creator ethan van skyver has a ebay store that he sells this cover the team up cover the last one i showed you he sells that one for um 30 and i think right now that's the best price you're gonna get it's not chromium or anything but at the end of the day, it's, it is still a beautiful piece of art. Um, so definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend. If I were to rate this book, I'd give it a solid, uh, I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10 at the very least, if not a 10. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty shysty with those 10s, but definitely a 9. I really liked it. I, I'm interested in the story. I'm interested to continue reading it. Um... I usually don't have any interest reading things that fall below a 7 in my book. I'm a little picky. Like, if it falls below a 7, like, I'll just give away the book or, you know, just throw it somewhere. But this book is, uh, this book is a jewel in my collection. I really like it. Um, yeah, if, if you can find a copy, definitely pick it up. Uh, and if you already have it, then back the uh, second one wrecked planet i'm gonna try to include a link in the description um the description <laughs> down here <laughs> uh in the description for i think i'll try to hit the youtube or the ebay store and the uh and the gofundme uh there's a couple days left on the campaign for uh wrecked planet uh the second book in the series but uh yeah Definitely get it while you can. Get it while you can. While it's <laughs> while it's cheap, you know. I mean, yeah, twenty five plus about ten shipping's not super cheap for a comic book. But like I said, these do retain their value. I think you really will uh, see these books go up in value because people want these. These are very desirable. And this guy, Ethan Van Skyver, he's not some you know he's not some basement clown, you know. He's like, oh, I'm going to draw some comic books. This guy has a reputation. He drew Green Lantern. He drew Flash. Uh, he, he did a cover of one of the issues of Batman uh, Court of Owls, which is one of my which is my favorite Batman story. And uh, yeah, he, this this guy is the real deal. He's not, you know, he's not some nobody. But to be honest, like there's a lot of really good artists uh, in this new movement that's just blowing up on Indiegogo. You know, uh, lots of guys that you never would have even heard of. Um, so yeah, definitely check out this book. Check out the next one. Check out some other books on Indiegogo too. There's a lot of really solid ones uh, in, in the the comics gate movement. So uh, yeah, check them out. Um, anyways, if you like the content, like, subscribe, uh, and uh, take it easy.